In this video, I'm gonna show you how I did the inside part of the above ground pool wiring. So here's the inside part of the job in the basement at the panel. Uh, we have uh, starting with our two GFCI breakers and uh, one is gonna control the uh, pool pump the other with the twist lock receptacle. The other one's gonna be for the convenience outlet. Um, I used MC um, for both my circuits because it requires an insulated ground uh, for any pool equipment um, from outside of the house on. Uh, but I believe that you can use uh, Romex on the inside if you want. Uh, but I went just to keep everything isolated all the way. Uh, maybe a little overkill, but that's what I decided to do. Uh, this is the timer. So I pretty much just uh, ran uh, two straight car flex connectors and a little half inch piece of car flex so I could run my single conductors to here and then transitioned out with a piece of MC. For the convenience outlet circuit, it's going to be the same GFCI protected 20 amp breaker. Uh, the hot neutral go into the breaker. The breaker's neutral goes to the neutral bar. The grounds go to the ground bar. And then the uh, wire that you use, uh, whether it's this type or Romex or another type is basically going to go directly out of the panel. And this is just going to go out to the junction box where it transitions out to the pool. And now we're at our junction box to transition out to the PVC, which I'm going to get a light on here. I already have these screws loosened, so this should... Wish I was... oh, it's hard to hold the phone. I'm standing on a stool here. <laughs> so... There we go there. So this box should have been a deep 1900 box. It's uh, a lot of wires in here for, for what we have. Um, but basically all you're doing is connecting the whites to the whites, the blacks to the blacks, but there's gonna be two separate circuits. So the black for this circuit goes to the black for the circuit and the black for this circuit goes to the black for the other circuit and if we pull these out here you can see that's where the pvc pipe is coming out drilled through this cinder block wall and then pops out the other side to an lb for the wiring in the junction box you want to make sure you keep your circuits separate so you'll have your black and neutrals for the one circuit connected together and then your um, hot and neutral black and white wire for the other circuit put together. Uh, these are the extras that I'm not using that are individually capped off. And I generally just tie all the grounds together and obviously ground the box as well. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any other questions or want clarification on anything, please let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to help. If you liked the video, if it helped you out, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it.